Hey guys, GoldbubbyGSM here and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to add non-permanent freckles on your American Girl doll. So I've seen a lot of AG tubers showing how to make freckles on your doll or to add custom freckles. And I thought, oh, I'll do one of these. And I don't know if an AG tuber has done something like this yet. I believe one used some washable markers. I don't know if it was the same brand on their doll. But what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to add freckles, and this could work for anything. I'm going to be showing you how to add freckles using these markers. These are Crayola washable markers. If you are going to be doing this, make sure that you get a pack that says washable markers, because if you didn't get one that says washable markers, or if you have one right now that is not washable, then you should get the washable ones if you want to do this, or else it might not come off. So I'm going to be using brown for this, since it is sort of a freckle color, and I'm going to be showing you three designs of freckles, or three different types of freckles, that you can do on your doll. So the first set of freckles I'm going to be doing is going to be on Isabel, and this design is sort of just scattered. Okay, so I just have her lying down right here, and I'm going to start adding on the freckles now. Okay, so here is how they turned out, and you can't really see very well on this, but around right here on her right cheek, you can see some little faded freckles. So now I'm dabbing my finger on the marker on her face while it's still a little bit wet, and then there's a little bit of a pattern on my finger, and now I put it around the rest of the face, leaving a faint look of freckles. And I think that this turned out pretty cute. Isabel obviously doesn't have freckles, and personally, I wouldn't keep these on her, but this is just an example of a design of freckles that you can put on your doll. And you're probably wondering how you take this off. Well, you get a tissue or a paper towel and you wet it, and then you just carefully remove the marker from your doll's face. Also, be careful of just scrubbing too hard, just scrub very lightly, and be careful of the face paint, mainly the lips and eyebrows. and she is all cleaned up. Also, if you're wondering why she's wearing one of Andrew's shirts, it's because I thought she might look cute in it and I sort of just put it on her just for her outfit for today. Here's Kanani and she's going to be the next doll that I put freckles on. So the type of freckles I'm going to be putting on Kanani are very compact and close together freckles spread around the face, kind of like Isabel's, but more together and a little bit more defined. I'm also going to be using the same technique where I put my finger on top of the freckles and sort of dab away a little bit of the marker to make it look a little bit faded on some parts to make it look more realistic. And here's what the final product of Kanani's freckles look like. As you can see, they are a little bit more bunched together and they don't go all the way up to her forehead. They just sort of go on her nose and our cheeks and almost to her forehead. So I'm going to take these off of Kanani and I think that she actually does look pretty cute in them. I might try a different style on her sometime, but this is how this one turned out. And now we have Leah. So the design I'm going to be putting on Leah is pretty basic. Just around the cheeks and the nose, I'm going to be just dotting the marker. And then I'm still going to be using the same where I put my finger and then I add the little freckles, faded looking freckles in the back to make it look a little bit more realistic. And here's Leah. So I think these freckles actually look pretty cute on her. I'm not going to be keeping these on, obviously, because I'm actually making a stop motion right now, and if Leah just came in with freckles, that wouldn't really make any sense. Anyways, I hope that this video helped you if you were trying to find a way to add freckles on your American Girl doll, or if you want to find a way just for maybe picture reasons or one kind of thing, freckles for your American Girl doll that are not permanent. I'm going to be adding in a few other photos of some of my other dolls wearing freckles, just so you can see what they look like, and maybe a few other little different designs.
Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Also, click the notification bell to get notified when I post. Comment down below any videos that you want to see on my channel. Bye guys! Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!